Whether you're going to use a professional installer or do it yourself, it's important to remember that your table comes delivered to you unassembled. As you can see, here we have laid out all of the hardware in a manner that will allow for easy access and assembly. Now let's begin the first step in the assembly process. We begin with the nuts and bolts that will connect the corner frame bracket. Now we have the leg, the wood, and the washer and bolt to be used later for the leg attachment. Next we have both sets of our pocket bolts and their washers to be used. We have now laid out the long cabinet frame or the skirting with all of the appropriate bolts, nuts, and washers in place. The quad beam pieces are pre-notched for easy assembly. We begin with attaching the corner frame bracket to the short cabinet, making sure that all the bolts are tightly fastened. Now we connect both corner frame brackets to the corner piece. The next step is to connect the long cabinet piece to the corner brackets that we have already attached to both ends of the short cabinet. Repeat this procedure at both ends of the long cabinet. Upon completion, make sure that all of the bolts in the corner frame are tight. Also make sure that all of the sides are even and flush when tightening the hardware. We now place the leg through the bottom hole in the corner frame bracket. Place a washer and nut on the rod that is already installed in the leg. Insert two wood screws through the corner frame bracket into the leg. Repeat the process for the remaining legs. Now to install the corner trim pieces. Place the pieces so that they are flush with the bottom of the cabinet and the top of the table. Insert the corner trim hardware through the corner frame bracket into the corner trim piece insert. Install two wood screws through the corner frame bracket into the corner trim piece. Place the short frame boards into the frame receivers. Then install both of the long frame pieces into the short frame pieces and the frame receiver. Now tap down gently with a rubber mallet as needed. Make sure your frame looks even and flush with the top of the cabinet. We will now begin to install the frame beam hardware into the frame beam receiver inserts at all of the corresponding places. Now we are ready to install the slate support blocks. Each block will require two bolts for installation as we install the blocks around the table. Upon completion, it is now time to begin to level the table. Make sure the table is level from left to right and the length of the table before putting the slate on. Begin to place your slate pieces on the table, being sure that the center piece is dead center in the table. Your long screws will be inserted through the pre-drilled holes in the slate to connect to the support blocks. Begin by first connecting the four holes at either end of the table, and then leave the rest into the inserts. Do not tighten yet. A string is stretched across the slate to ensure the three pieces of slate are flush and even to each other. Prepare wood shims for the next step. Insert the flat head screwdriver under the slate with a rubber mallet to raise the slate the height of the string. When the slate is level, insert the shim and remove the screwdriver. Repeat the leveling process across all three pieces of slate. If all the sides are level, a $5 bill should not be loose under the level. Now tighten the remaining screws when the slate is even with the string and the surface is level. Take a razor blade to gently scrape across the seams to remove uneven areas. We're going to use a lightweight drywall spackling to apply to the slate seams with a putty knife. Caution, use sparingly only enough to fill the slate seams. Allow to dry. Make sure the playing surface is free of any debris or dust particles that could affect the playing surface. Once the playing field is cleaned, the felt goes on the table. Make sure that the sticker side of the felt cloth is placed up. Stretch across the table evenly. Fold lengthwise into thirds across the length of the table towards the middle of the table. Do not reposition the cloth. You will need a fast tack adhesive to adhere to the felt slate. Apply adhesive to the middle of the end piece of the slate first. Do this at both ends and pull the felt taut. Now apply the adhesive to the inside edge of the center pocket as well as the playing surface of the pocket. Now the felt is moved 
from the middle of the table to the original position around the center pocket. Smooth out any wrinkles and clamp down. Now the process moves to the corner pocket areas of the table and be sure to smooth out any wrinkles at this time. While we engage in the stapling process, we continue to pull the felt taut while being sure to staple into the wood area below the slate through the entire length and width of the table must be stapled. Now we are going to cut the corner felt overlay into six inch triangular tabs making sure the point of the cut is even with the wood. Stapling is done into the pocket and at the underside of the table. The process is repeated at each pocket. We cut an X into the felt to align with each rail hole for screw attachments. Now we are going to lay out the rails around the table, long sides and both ends. The pockets are attached to the rail via the pocket receiver slots on the table. Then all of the pieces are pushed together and each bolt is tightened into place. Then the rail assembly is flipped over and put on the top of the table. All of the rail hardware, bolts and washers are now installed under the table, making sure that the rails are square before tightening down. Now we can install the pocket screws into the wood slate frame. This is the last step and completes the process of a pool table assembly. Your table is now ready for hours of fun and enjoyment and should last a lifetime.